Hi, I'm Jonathan Mitchell with the award-winning Richmond Ford. Right beside me is the new 7th generation 2024 Mustang. I had the pleasure of checking out the new Dark Horse last week, and you can check out that video here. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more great Ford content. I've got the EcoBoost Performance Pack behind me, a GT Premium and a base GT, and we're gonna be taking a look at these to see if the sole pony car that's taking us into the next generation with an internal combustion V8 is sticking with the tried and true formula. Let's see what Ford has done to bring these Mustangs into the modern era. Let's go. The 2024 Mustang sits on a platform known as the S650. Now there are some carryover elements of the S550 platform of the previous generation, however there have been many changes made below the surface. But what we can see is this beautiful new bodywork. Starting here at the front, the grille has been designed to be reminiscent of the original 1960s design, but with a modern flair. The grille designs will differ between the EcoBoost GT and Dark Horse, but across the lineup are new LED headlights with that classic tri-bar pony look. And here on the hood, you get a nice functional heat extraction vent as well. On the GT, all of these elements are featured in gloss black. The GT Premium comes stock with 19-inch wheels, but on this unit, we have the optional 20-inch bright silver performance wheels, and they are mated up to 265-35R20 Goodyear Eagles front and rear. Peeking behind that are painted red Brembo brake calipers. They are finished in one of the optional colors for 2024 in red, but you can also get black or grabber blue. These are six piston Brembos on the front and four piston rear with a standalone electronic e-brake. Now there's more to learn about that e-brake as we go into the interior. Coming around the back, this is an all new design with new streamlined taillights. But what is very interesting about this design is how it kind of angles up and then angles out. This gives a sense of forward motion when viewed from the side, even while standing still. There is also a nice new rear diffuser on the bottom here. This vehicle is equipped with bright dual exhaust tips. Optionally, you can outfit an active performance exhaust, which will give you quad exhaust pipes and the ability to change the tone. Up here you have a nice little wedge spoiler, or you can do a spoiler delete, or get a higher spoiler with the performance pack. The body lines of this new Mustang actually follow the body lines of the Fastback Mustang of the late 60s from the roof line down the Fastback to the trunk. Also back here, the rear haunches are a little bit wider, and this gives the car a more muscular presence on the road. There is a lot of bright work here on this particular model, but you can black out these elements if you equip the Night Pony package, which changes the wheels, mirror caps, badges, roof, spoiler, and headlamp bezels. Alternatively, if you're not into blacking out everything, you can equip the bronze appearance package, and that will give you bronze wheels and bronze exterior badges. Now, as we move to the interior, this is a GT Premium, so you're going to get some nice leather with contrasting stitching on the seats. This stitching also makes its way around the center console as well. This one is equipped with a 10-speed automatic, however, the Mustang tradition lives on and you can get a 6-speed manual in the GT Mustang and the Dark Horse. But unfortunately for you 4-cylinder customers, the manual is not available as you'll have to suffice with a 10-speed automatic. However, this interior is all new apart from some carryover pieces here on the door panels and gear switches, but this dash is the new focal point with two massive LED screens. 
Here on the dashboard is your gauge cluster with a screen coming in at 12.4 inches and your center stack is coming in at 13.2 inches. Now these new digital screens have not been met without controversy. Uh, there's a huge argument between the old school mentality of what your gauge cluster and having physical buttons is and the new way of thinking of utilizing software and advanced technology. Now Ford is doing this with purpose in mind. They utilize the same technology for their infotainment systems across their lineup. So it's easier to develop and figure out how to place hardware uh, with utilizing software differently. So like your different gauges and your different options and features on one model to the other. Uh, and it basically it cleans up a lot of those buttons where, you know, it used to look like, you know, a spaceship here basically back in the early uh, 2010s. Um, however, this doesn't really invoke anything like where it's coming up into your line of sight. You can still see pretty much over it, like if you're not paying attention to the screens themselves and you're looking at the road like you should be, uh, they're not too intrusive. However, I wish that Ford would actually clean this up a little bit and make this feel like not such an afterthought of a screen printed on a dash. They do a good job of this in the F-150 and in the Bronco, uh, but a lot of the other uh, Ford models in the lineup have this kind of pasted on kind of feel. Um, I wish they could clean that up just a little bit better. However, here in the 2024 Mustang, you are losing those distinctive overhangs uh, where it was two separate areas, one for the driver, one for the passenger. That was how it was back in the original Mustangs of the 60s, made its way back in in a more rounded fashion in uh, 1994 and then in 2005 came back to that original design of the two squared off areas and that's continued through 2023. Uh, however, the Fox body versions, they did have in fact a flat, flatter kind of look on the dash with a squared off area for your uh, gauges and your controls here in the center. So this is actually kind of reminiscent of that and I'm not sure that many people actually pick up on that of that old school uh, throwback design. But one thing that people do like, and Ford knocked it out of the park on this, is incorporating these old school Fox body gauges. They even illuminate in that familiar green hue of the 80s and 90s. And with over the air updates that is available with this software, who knows, we may see some throwback gauges to our, our old school, our first generation Mustangs, the Mustangs of the 90s and the mid 2000s that would just be really cool if, uh, if Ford could pull that off so bravo Ford for uh giving us some little bit of old school mentality here in the 2024 Mustang now just like in the last generation's digital dash the gauge cluster will change to match your drive mode you have normal you go over to sport and then that gives you uh, this new gauge cluster where you have your RPMs over here and your miles per hour over there. You go down to track mode. This has some new looks as well as you have your speedometer now on the left side and of course that nice RPM gauge there at the top and then you can have all of your pertinent information about your temperatures right there. Then if you go into drag strip mode, you're gonna have the same thing there as the track mode. And then of course you got slippery or custom. Now, these animations are really cool and you gamers may recognize that this is done with the Unreal Engine. Uh, it just gives you beautiful, crisp animations. If you go through that, you can look and see just how quickly and seamless all of that is like nice burnout there that's really really cool and then of course just like last generation as well if you hit this little pony down here this will bring up my mustang where you can completely configure this to your taste so you've got your track apps up here with your acceleration timer brake performance lap timer you got line lock over here and if you had the active exhaust you could uh, change the tone there uh, you've got your auxiliary gauges so that'll show you what's going on with your engine. And then you can switch those as well. 
got inlet temperature, air fuel ratio, cylinder head temperature, just a lot of different options right here. And then if you go back over here, you have your custom mode where you can completely set up uh, the drive to how you want it to be. You can change it over into sport, track, all of those. You can change your steering into sport, comfort, normal. And then you can turn your trash control off. And then, of course, down here, you can specify which gauges you want in my mode from normal, sport, calm, track, and, of course, that cool fox body look as well. Another thing that you can change here is the colors in the gauge cluster. You got a primary and a secondary, and as you can see, those changed. You can change them over to green, and it all switches over, and that continues over here. And then you can, of course, control your ambient lighting, just like you did last generation, where the lighting in the foot wells and here in your center console. But as you can see, there are a lot more colors that you can actually utilize here on the 2024 over the last generations. Moving on, there's a nice new steering wheel, a performance-based steering wheel, as it finally has a flat bottom. It also features nice thumb bolsters and big chunky buttons to go through all of those digital menus. Also, speaking of technology, there is now a wireless charging pad front and center. And of course, you have an electronic parking brake now. In this particular vehicle, the parking brake is activated with your fingers. However, you can get an electronic parking brake that mimics the old school parking brake, but you just have to pull up on it to initiate it and push down to disengage. This new handle is also a drift initiating e-brake where you can rip it up really fast to initiate a drift. Now that is a track only feature that would only come on the performance package and the dark horse naturally. The door cards have a faux carbon fiber look to them. This is not real carbon fiber though. This is just a weave incorporated into the plastics. There haven't been any changes with the engine lineup on the 2024 Mustang, but both engines have been revised to kick out some more power. Starting with the 2.3 liter EcoBoost, you're gonna now get 315 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque. That's due to a complete clean sheet redesign of internal elements on the engine, the turbo, direct injection, just to name a few. But now if you want to outfit your EcoBoost with a high performance pack, you're not gonna get any increased horsepower, but what you are going to get is some stickier tires, some better stopping power with Brembo brakes, and increased suspension capability with a heavy duty front suspension, and of course, this nice strut tower brace here. Living under the hood of the 2024 Ford Mustang GT is the fourth generation five liter Coyote V8. This engine has been revamped as well with a new top end and dual 80 millimeter throttle bodies with these dual intake systems. Now that's good for 480 horsepower and 415 pound feet of torque. Last year, they had to scale back to 450 to meet emissions, but now with these improvements, they're meeting emissions and kicking out more horsepower. And even adding the active exhaust will give you six more ponies. So we can't wait to see what the full potential of this fourth generation Coyote is once tuners get their hands on it, with like the names of Roush, Shelby American, and Hennessy, or even us. We can throw a supercharger on there as well through our customs department. So thank you, Ford, for keeping this amazing platform around for the next generation to enjoy with a classic American V8. As with all Fords, safety is a priority in the new Mustang. Starting with the base, every Mustang will come with Ford's Copilot 360 technology. This includes auto high beam headlamps, Bliss, the blind spot detection system with cross traffic alert, a crisp and clear digital reverse camera, the lane keeping system, post collision braking, pre-collision assist with auto emergency braking, rain sensing wipers, rear cross traffic braking, and rear parking sensors. Now you can step up to the Copilot 360 Assist Plus to add adaptive cruise control with stop and go, lane centering and speed sign recognition, blind spot assist, navigation, and evasive steering assist. Overall, the 2024 Mustang is a blast to drive. The 10 speed is smooth, the 6 speed is fun, and if you want a little bit sportier transmission, you have the option of going with the Tremec and the Dark Horse. 
Now, if you want to step up your game in the suspension category, you can outfit Magnaride on the premium models and throw on some summer tires just for a little bit extra grip. And if you want to go with that EcoBoost, you're going to get some pretty good gas mileage as well. You got 22 in the city, 33 on the highway, and 26 miles per gallon combined. But if you're going with the V8, it's not that bad either, considering you're going to get uh, 15 city, 24 highway, and 18 miles per gallon combined. So there you have it, folks, the new 2024 Mustang. It's an amazing package and it's keeping the American spirit of the pony car alive for the foreseeable future. And Ford is the only place where you can still get a V8 powered manual transmission rear wheel drive car. So considering that, if you've always been a Mustang enthusiast, but you've never owned one, now is your opportunity to get behind the wheel of this American institution. Or if you are a purist and have owned a dozen Mustangs, you're gonna wanna experience what could be the last iteration of this platform as we know it. And consider this, when you buy with Richmond Ford, you're gonna take advantage of our exclusive 100,000 mile warranty that's backed by our five-star customer service because we are driven by you. Make sure to reach out to us to schedule a test drive or to place an order. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and tell us what you think of the 2024 Mustang down in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.